What is the famous cardinal? How to get rid of it now is the question. How do you want to get rid of it? The main reason why the kernel task exists on your computer it's because you upgraded from an old operating system as an example from Mavericks to the Yosemite or Yosemite. If you really want to remove the kernel task from affecting your memory and CPU you must reset your computer and you must uninstall the operating system the OS that you are running and reinstall it meaning that you have to erase the disk and reinstall the operating system I know it sucks but it is a sacrifice that you must do nothing else on the internet that you will find is going to help you Kernel task this will not go anywhere okay this is always going to be here and the reason is why why it's here why this won't go anywhere why or how you can stop it there is no way to stop it I haven't found a way to stop it and it is annoying recently my iMac computer died now this right here this is my iMac my, my I mean my MacBook Pro see I'm running um, 4 gigs of RAM and right here is using 346 gigabytes and now the only thing that I'm using is ScreenFlow and that's it 346 gigabytes it's so crazy let's check the CPU well wow, look at that okay that kernel it's taking a lot okay here it is here's my computer okay you can see OS just my whatever 10.10.1 iMac okay now this right here system report now you can see that let me see let's check the memory I only got four gigabytes shame on me of course I know that you don't have to say that to me you're gonna make me cry okay here it is no more kernel no more where is it let's find it where is it there is no more kernel no more kernel where is it I'm running 340 because I have a whole bunch of little tabs open. Let's close email. Quit it. Let's close iTunes. Quit it. See, now, if you remember on my computer, uh, the other one, the, I mean the MacBook Pro, I didn't have anything else open. So now let's close about everything. Let's see how much of RAM do we got left. Do we get left? Let's close system information. Okay, so now you see what I'm saying? It came down. Now let's close something else as an example. I'm gonna close this here. Let's go to quit it. Are you sure you want to quit quill cancel application installation? Stop back to file syncing and we'll just quit it. Okay. So now it went away. Okay. And the whole thing is I don't have um kernel anymore so to get rid of it how to get rid of it now is a question how do you want to get rid of it now look at this here 292 gigabytes so now if I open Final Cut Pro let's see if you if you don't upgrade your RAM of your computer pretty much what's gonna happen is see now I'm I'm opening Final Cut Pro okay um, let's see what's in there okay uh, what's in here what's in here I don't think the computer got that but anyways um, now let's see where we at where we at right now we are at 377 see what I'm saying now Final Cut Pro has enough space to work fluently and work fine what you have to do what you have to do 
let's quit Final Cut Pro. Okay, you need to back up all your information. If you really want to get rid of the kernel task, you want to back up all your information, you know, any programs that you don't use, you need to get rid of them and find a way to download them later and you need to wipe out your disk completely wipe it out and how do you do that well let's go and let's see if we can do it together uh, let me see Doo -doo -doo. L disk utility open what you want to do let's see right here this right here Macintosh, Macintosh, right here, right here. You want to go right here, erase. Now, I'm not going to do that right now, but what is this going to do? You click erase, and what it's going to do is going to wipe out everything. It's going to wipe out your whole drive. Okay, it's going to uninstall Yosemite, Yosemite, and it's going to wipe out any back tap folder that you had now those folders are making are clashing against each other and they're making your computer perform really bad now some people say uh, well you can um, let's see some people say you can unplug everything and the kernel megabytes are, are gonna go down no it's not because I did it I did it myself and it does not help you at all so if you really want to get rid of the kernel task you have to erase your hard drive and you have to reinstall the operating system Yosemite or whatever operating system you got and now how do you do that how do you go and find out what operating system you got well let's go over to uh, applications to the App Store okay now you go to the App Store and you go to Purchases. Now I go to mine and see right here, October 17th, I got Yosemite. Now, before that, on February, I got this. Okay, Mavericks, November 2, 2013. And before that, Lion, March 8, 2012. And before that, well, that's it because I got this computer in 2011. So, what you want to do first go and download the program whatever but no this is pointless don't do this here like okay like if you want to revert like go back operating system like if you don't like uh, Yosemite you can always go back to that and install it and then some bunch of errors are gonna come out but anyways just go through the procedure guys I hope this video helps you a little bit I'm trying to help you here I know how frustrating, I know how annoying the, the whole kernel task can be. And see, I don't have it. I do not have it. I don't have it. And that's one thing that I noticed when I did a fresh installation of the operating system. Regardless what operating system it is, you have to erase the disk and you have to redo it all because now you have corrupted files I hope this helped you I know it's hard I know it's a sacrifice and it takes a little bit of time it takes like three hours to do the whole procedure good luck and if this video helped you Amen